Many people believe that Drake's only loss in hip hop was to push a T, but something that's often overlooked is the L that he took to Common. Now, I shouldn't really need to explain who Common is, so I'm gonna keep this brief. The dude is a legend, highly regarded in the culture, definitely someone who has demonstrated time and time again that he's not just a great writer, he's a brilliant creator. And you know, there's way more beefs to cover outside of Drake, so this will definitely be my last Drake video for a long time. I just don't want this to become like a Drake YouTube channel because this is not my intent for the channel. But this beef in particular, Common vs. Drake, interesting beef, never talked about. So enjoy the video, like the video, and let's go. So given common status in hip hop, Drake was obviously a fan at one point, and I even found a tweet from 2011 where Drake posted Common's lyrics from The Sixth Sense. Now I appreciate this moment in time. Ball players and actors be knowing my rhymes is like with all that said, just a few months after Drake's tweet, we get Common at the age of 40 throwing shots at a 24-year-old Drake on a song called Sweet. If you wait to, to it, Common goes into the record with a very aggressive tone and he addresses soft emotional rappers that sing. You know where I'm from? Some old ass niggas singing all around me, man, la la la. You ain't mother Frank Sinatra, oh, little bitch. Now, given the fact that Drake had exploded onto the scene by rapping and singing, last name ever, first name greatest. I better find your love. People speculated that this record was about Drake. But at the end of the day, what really piqued people's speculation was this woman right here. She's just the dominator. Goodness me. It's just so intimidating. Absolutely brilliant, Serena Williams. It was public knowledge that Common dated Serena Williams from 2007 until 2010. This was not a secret relationship by any stretch, and she even made an appearance in his music video for Want You. However, the two parted ways in April of 2010, and just six months later, Drake is found playing tennis with her, attending her games, kissing her, and sending tweets like this one. At Serena Williams, I cannot wait to put it on you and make you sweat during our match this weekend. Drake was also quoted in another interview as saying, I really, really love and care for Serena Williams. She's incredible. That's someone I'm proud to say I know. She's definitely in my life and I'm in her life. It's great to watch her play tennis. Very impressive. I mean, Common probably didn't feel very good about this. I mean, we've all been we've all been heartbroken at least once. However, when Common was asked about the Sweet record, he denied that it was about Drake and claimed that it wasn't about anyone in particular. They said it was either for Lil Wayne or Drake. Was it aimed at either one of them in particular? Nah, nah for, first of all, I, you know, I think Lil Wayne is definitely a, a dope rapper. Mm -hmm. you know, see, and um, you know, Drake is a talented artist too. But like I said, if whoever whoever does feel it, they feel it. That's hip hop. But to me and everybody else, we we knew this was about Drake. And Drake also felt the exact same way because just five weeks after the Sweet record was released, he essentially called Common out while performing at one of his shows. I will never stop doing this for y'all. I don't give a f if you got something to say to me. Say it to my mother face nigga just because i sing i'm not no bitch so if you got something to say i'm right here but hold on wait a minute something big dawned on me while editing this video remember drake's 2011 tweet when he quoted common's lyrics i initially thought that drake was paying homage but when i look at this thing closer it's clear to me that drake wasn't paying homage at all he was trolling him drake is spotted for the first time with serena in august of 2011 he quotes Common's lyrics on Twitter just one month later while he's actively dating his ex, and two months later, Common releases the Sweet record. Now, what makes this tweet a clear troll, in my opinion, is the line, ball players and actors be knowing my rhymes. Ball players could really be an easy substitute for any athlete, and given the fact that Drake was dating Serena, a professional tennis player, I feel like he was using Common's own lyrics to antagonize him. Looking back on this now, I don't think it's too far-fetched to believe that this tweet could have been part of the reason why Common dissed Drake in the first place. And no, Drake didn't say Common's name during that live show rant, but 
Everybody knew it was about Common. And it was at this point where Common finally admitted that the record suite was indeed about Drake all along. Now you say this is towards Drake and then whoever else wanted? Yeah, I mean, I, the verses is like about me, but then, you know, when you hear some of the stuff on the chorus, it's like, you can't help but think about, dude, I guess that, and that's what he felt like. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, he fit in that category. He already embraced it, so wear it. And it was on that same day where Drake's producer, 40, someone that we never hear from when it comes to any sort of conflict, took to Twitter to call out Common. At Common, I remember being called a bitch in grade 9 because I had your CD. Good thing I also had 456 by Cool G Rap on me. Now that's real. After One Day It All Makes Sense came out, I spent months arguing whether or not Common was hip-hop. Everyone was saying it was too R&B. 40's pretty much saying that, you know, Common is not the best guy to really call anybody sweet. And 40 wasn't really wrong about Common. Yes, he's from Chicago, but the dude is not looked at as being the pinnacle of masculinity by any stretch. The dude is a great MC, but he's no Beanie Siegel. I mean, take a look at his new book for an example. And Then We Rise, A Guide to Loving and Taking Care of Self. He's just not that hard of a dude, and there's nothing wrong with that at all it's just no one looks at common like a street thug they just they don't however the soft and emotional guy known as drake was about to shock everybody by taking shots at common on rick ross's stay scheming it bothers me when the gods get to acting like the bras so right off rip drake acknowledges common as being respected in hip-hop when he refers to him as being a god but goes on to state that it bothers him to see someone of such stature carry himself out like a female. Drake also uses the word acting as a play on words to reference Common's acting career, which was really just getting started at the time. That's why I see no need to compete with niggas like y'all. I just ask that when you see me, you speak up nigga, that's all. Drake continues to keep that same exact energy that he put out during his live show when he asked Common to say something to his face. Back when if a nigga reached, it was for the weapon. Nowadays, niggas reach just to set a record. Drake accuses Common of using his name to sell an album, as the song Sweet was indeed used as a promo for Common's upcoming project, The Dreamer, The Believer. Sure they wanna tell me secrets by the rap, nigga. I tell that bitch it's more attractive when you hold it down. This could potentially be a reference to Common's relationship with Serena where possibly she told Drake some things about Common that may have been personal. I'm just hitting my pinnacle, you and pussy identical. You like the fucking finish line, we can't wait to run into you. Drake lets it be known that he's in his prime, Common is old news, and that he can't wait to see him face to face. And this was really off-brand for Drake at the time, to be going at Common and OG on wax. Like, it just people were shocked that he did this however that was all the ammo that common needed as he dropped an actual diss verse over the same beat my motto is chicago bitch everybody know you sweet what the problem is don't play dumb i'm the one that acknowledged it son of a bitch i imagine what your father is so right off rip common references drake's track the motto by letting him know that he's from chicago a place that's far from soft he then references his track Sweet and lets Drake know that it's no secret that he's soft, everyone knows it, he's just the one that went on record to say it. In the last line he calls Drake a bitch while also calling his mother a bitch and he wonders how big of a bitch Drake's dad must be. And Drake is really close with his mom, so you know this guy's calling her a bitch, that should be, this here alone should be enough for him to go, this should be war. She said how you make your opponent the rapper of the moment is style he don't own it common responds back to drake's claims that he's been using his name to get attention for his album and he lets it be known that drake is a biter and he has no style of his own at the time this was a very common complaint about drake as people claim that he stole his style from Big Sean and Fonte. And to say that Fonte uh, is a good rapper would be offensive to me because he's probably one of the best rappers of all time, in my opinion. Acting all hard when he hardly like that. You gonna mess around and make me catch a body like that. Common claimed that Drake started off as being really soft and then he switched up and started acting hard out of nowhere. And he referenced Drake's lyrics from the song Headlines, 
which was one of the first videos where Drake portrayed more of a hard persona. Hey, you gonna make someone around me catch your body like that? No, don't do it. So in Drake's verse, he claims that someone around him will catch a body, whereas in Common's verse, he uses the exact same number of syllables to say that it's gonna be Drake that makes him catch a body. Uh, don't do it, cause every song you make, Joe, is really whole music. I heard you said you wasn't a bitch cause you sing, you a bitch cause you clean like a bitch that's 18. Common brings it back to Drake's moment on stage when he claimed that he wasn't soft for singing, and Common claimed that Drake is a bitch because he falls in love with a different woman every other month. And look, I don't know what Drake's approach is to women, but... It's been working for him. I mean, the guy's catalog is pretty impressive. He's been pretty much smashing whoever he wants since he came into the game. Can't say my name, but rap about a nigga's wife. You so black and white trying to live a nigga's life. Common makes reference to Drake's line about Kobe's wife on Stay Scheming, and he reminds Drake of his upbringing in the suburbs, where he more or less grew up in a white neighborhood, far from anything that he was beginning to portray. I'm taking too long with this amateur guy. You ain't wet nobody, nigga. You Canada dry. Common doesn't look at Drake as being on his level or as someone even worth entertaining and continues with the narrative that Drake has never hurt anybody being from Canada. Everybody really went nuts over the Canada dry line and to me, I'm f I'm a battle rap guy. So to like to me this is a very standard punchline, but it was it was like, you know, you do one of these. The ending of the track is really clever because Common uses the Destiny's Child record Say My Name to beg Drake to say his name. Make no mistake, I'm talking to Drake. So let's just run through this. Common drops a full verse, dissing Drake, calls him out by name, begs him to respond, calls his mom a bitch, calls his dad a bitch. There's tons of material to work with here that would warrant a response. Drake says nothing. And just two months later, the two were spotted at the NBA All-Star Game, and the whole thing was now confirmed to be over. It was all in the art of hip-hop, but it's kind of it's kind of over now. It's, it is. It's, it's over, so, but, um, you know, it was all in the art of hip-hop. And it will be years and years later where we find out why Common dissed Drake in the first place. It, at that time, I think it was the Drake. Serena situation. I didn't know what was going on with that. Unfortunately, the war might have been over a girl, even though at the time I never said that. And I understand that women can make us do fucked up shit, but for this guy to put out a whole record where the premise behind it is to call Drake soft and emotional, when really deep down he was just insecure over his ex, like, to me, there's nothing more sweeter than what he did here. Now, I hear people all the time state that Drake didn't take an L to push a T. I hear things like, he's more successful, Drake sold more albums, he didn't take an L. And to me, it's clear that these people do not understand how a rap beef actually works, so allow me to clarify. To win a rap beef, you need to rap. When Pusha T dropped the story of Adidon and Drake didn't respond by rapping, this is indeed an L. All the subliminal shots that you hear Drake throw at Pusha thereafter really don't mean anything until he calls him out by name, and the situation with Common is no different. Common gave Drake countless reasons to warrant a response, and we didn't get one. He called Drake out by name, he called his mother a bitch, he claimed Drake stole his style, he mocked his upbringing, he begged Drake to respond, and Drake did nothing, therefore this is indeed another L. Now let's just say Drake did respond. Well, now we have two diss records. We can figure out amongst the fans who who got one up on the other, but if he doesn't respond at all, especially after throwing subliminal shots, it's an L. It's, it's, this is not really debatable. It's kind of a, these are like cardinal rules of rap, right? Like you, you can't win a rap beef if you don't rap. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. The guy did a good job. He did. He did a good job with that. It came across my feet. Edit. Good to see it edited correctly. Here, what's the dirt? Bitch, I'm about to blow up. Uh-huh. Say what? Bitch, I'm about to blow up. 